This is a compass. On each side here, you have steel balls. These compasses... No, sorry, you have two balls. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, okay, port and starboard. You notice one's red, one's green. Figure that out. This is port and starboard. Well, where's the blue ball at? <laughs> okay, Mine. go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no shit. But I ain't showing you. <laughs> I've been blue balls for the last 10 years. Okay. <laughs> okay, just keep going. So anyway, here's a little kerosene lamp. Okay. That would light that compass so you can see it at night. Okay. Those days they didn't have a lot of electricity and it was too expensive to make, so everything was kerosene. So the compass needs to be calculated okay. or calibrated is the word. And most of these are on steel boats or they got a lot of steel on them anyway. And so this causes deviation of the magnetic uh, flux of the earth. But you want to be able to compensate this on most all points of the compass. Right. So the first thing you're going to do is point the, the boat true north. And how do you do that? You go to a buoy that's been marked between two buoys, and you're, you put the ship between the two buoys, and that would be north and south. Once you get it there, you're going to see the compass is going to be off one way or the other. Not much, but a little bit, but you want to get it close. So what you do is you unloosen these little screws under here, and you take a little rubber mount and you open or close it. As you do this, you'll see that the compass will move gradually to the correct northerly correction. Right. So now that you've done that, you've done north, you also want to go south. So you turn the boat 180 degrees and you see what the deviation of the compass is. You may be able to get it a little closer. Right. Once you do this, then you do north and south, or east and west. Right. Now, you're not going to be able to get it close there, but now you're going to be able to make a, uh, a compass uh, calibration card. So that no matter what point you're on, that compass may not be totally correct. Right. So you're going to, what they call a compass rose, is you're going to mark down what the, what the difference of the uh, compass heading is compared to what your heading is. That will give you the correct compass course magnetic heading. Wow. That's pretty cool. How about that?